Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Afiz. This is Afizullah Masudi. As you guys remember in our last video, we finished how to submit comments using Ajax request. So in this video, I will show you guys how to fetch all the comments from the database and show it in the interface. And after that, we will put uh, the real time functionality into our commenting system. So guys, let's start. Before everything, let's first log into our system. So let's click on login. And let's log in as john at app.com and the password is password. Well, this is the home blade. So let's open our home blade in our Visual Studio Code text editor. So first of all, let's open our project and then let's go to resources, views and open home blade. So in here where we want to show the comments. Yeah, we have this section for the comments. So what we can do is let's cut everything from here and let's uh, import a get dash comments component and we also want to pass the user id and post id to so copy this and paste it here now the next part is guys to register this get comments uh, component into our app.js file so for that we have to go to js folder and open this app.js and let's duplicate this one and let's say get comments and this one should be get comments too now guys let's create this get comments component into our components folder so let's open this one or yeah we can save us this example component so let's say control shift s and let's change change the name to get comments and press enter now instead of this div i want to paste the div that i cut from the home blade so let's say control v or oh, guys i think i copied something else after that so let's say control z yeah let's cut it again and let's create our git dash comments tag and yeah let's first paste our code in here so let's paste it and now let's copy this line of code from here into this component now in gets component now in get, get comments component let's first indent it a little bit well, I think we have an extra ending div, so let's remove it. Yeah, that's good. Well, guys, first of all, let's get the uh, props that are coming to this component, which is the user ID and post ID. So, in here, let's create our props and our brackets, comma, and inside here, let's say user ID, comma, post ID. And after that, let's create a method. So in here, let's put a comma and say methods, single curly brackets. And inside here, let's create a function by the name of get comments. And inside this function, we call we want to call our Ajax request. So Axios dot get. And for the endpoint, let's say get comments slash and then let's say plus this dot post id because we want to get the comments according to this post id now let's say dot 10 and then we want to get our response which should be equal to curly brackets and in here we want to create a comments object so let's create it first so in here what we can do is say data and parentheses curly brackets and inside this data let's return curly brackets and now let's say comments collection which is an empty object so in here let's say inside this axios request let's say this dot comments should equal to response dot data 
Now in here let's also catch our errors. So catch errors should equal to curly brackets and let's say console.log and we want to show the errors. Now guys let's create this git comments endpoint in our routes file. So let's go to routes web.php and in here let's duplicate this one and this should be git comments and this one should be git comments also slash id and for the method let's say it should be git now let's create this git comments uh, function in our comment controller so let's go to app http controllers and comment controller so in here let's say public function git comments and what we want to do is guys let's import our post model also so use app backslash post and in here let's say our post model dollar sign post and inside here we want to get each comment according to the post so let's say return response and let's say arrow json and inside this json let's say dollar sign post arrow comments uh, if you remember we created the relationship in our previous video so we can say comments parenthesis arrow and we also want to uh, get the user information also so let's say with parenthesis user and let's say arrow latest and finally let's say arrow get to get all the comments well guys let's make sure we are passing this post into our route so let's go to web.php yeah we we should not pass uh, id we should pass our post so change this one to post and now i think it's good to go so let's go to comment controller and in here everything looks fine now the next part is guys to run our yarn run watch to submit all the changes that we have created so let's open a command prompt window and in here first let's navigate to our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash vamp64 slash www slash block and let's say yarn run watch so guys all the uh, code has been compiled successfully now let's get back to the browser and check if you are we are getting the comments so let's get back to the chrome and let's refresh and open our inspect element and in here let's go to this view oh guys as you can see we are getting two errors so let's see what are the errors so let's go to console let me close this one and it says unknown custom element well let's hard reload control f5 and yeah our component has been mounted and if we go to view and you can see we get the comments two times because we have two posts and if we check the one these are the comments well we are not getting the comments and guys you know why well let's get back to text editor and let's go to the skit comments component if you as you can see we are getting the uh, comments with this axis get request but we are not putting this get comments function into our mounted function so what we can do is let's remove this console from here and in here let's say this dot get comments and now we should be good to go so let's refresh again and now if I click on this yeah you can see we are getting three comments for this post and if I click on the other one will we have four comments for this one so our code is working just fine now guys let's show our comments uh, into the interface so let's get back to a text editor and let's first remove this p tag because we only need the one so in here what we can do is create a v4 and we can say parenthesis and inside this parenthesis we can say comment and let's say comma index and we want this one 
in comments so let's also declare our key which should be index and now instead of adi we can say double curly brackets and comment dot user dot name and instead of this hey nice pick this is echo our comment so double curly brackets comment dot comment now I think it should be good to go so if I get back to the browser and let's refresh yeah you can see we are getting the three comments for this post and these are the uh, five comments for this post so our code is working just fine now what we can do is work on this real time functionality because now if I may show you let's say this is new comment added and if I click on submit comment you can see nothing changes and if I refresh now we get the comment so to remove this one let's get back to our text editor and in here in this mountain functionality what we can do is create an uh, interval so for that we can say this dot interval equals to set interval and inside here we want a function let's say curly brackets and let's say we want to set interval for the get comments uh, so let's say this dot get comments function and in here let's bind it with the time so let's say dot bind and let's say this after the parenthesis let's put our comma and let's say we want 5 milliseconds which is the half of a second and terminate it now if I go back and refresh and now let's try to add a comment so let's say new real time comment and click on submit yeah you can see we are getting it now if I may show you the real time functionality let's say we want another browser which is new incognito window so in here let's open our project so localhost block and in here let's log in well, our login is not working yeah now let's log in as jerry at app dot com and password is password let's log in yeah now this is the first post so let's try to add a comment with the jerry account so let's say hello John and let's say submit comment yeah you can see we are getting the comment in here and in here let's say hi Jerry how are you and let's say submit comment yeah you can see we are getting the comments so guys this was how to create real-time functionality without using any packages so I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up like and share the video with your friends so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video